Ukraine's newest weapons scare Russian strategists in Crimea. Occupied Crimea, which is Putin's totemic and strategically important unsinkable aircraft carrier, is beginning to look unseaworthy. Former Royal Navy officer Tom Sharp writes about this in a column for The Telegraph. In his opinion, the closure of the four main supply arteries like Kirsch Bridge and two ferry crossings and the railway will leave the peninsula without engines, weapons and food. The stockpile of weapons that the Ukrainian army can use against the Crimean bridge is growing. Recently, they presented a new naval drone, Stalker 5.0, which is significantly cheaper than the Magura V5, which ousted the Black Sea Fleet from occupied Sevastopol. Without detailed plans for the bridge, no one can predict with certainty what kind of payload could destroy the span and put it out of commission forever. But a thousand kilograms of precision explosions could cause enormous damage and at that price, one could simply not stop until you will succeed says Sharp. In his opinion, Russia understands the inevitability of such a strike, so they are trying to protect the structure with barges. The military man is confident that this crude defensive mechanism needs to be broken only once, and only then Ukraine will be able to disable key supply nodes, increasing the time and cost of restoration for the occupiers. This is not about returning Crimea as such, but about making it unnecessary as an operational hub. Taking Crimea away would be so shameful and expensive that it is worth continuing, he added. As reported, the latest Ukrainian maritime drone stalker 5.0 was presented at the Black Sea Security Forum. It is known that its length is 5 meters and its width is more than 1.2 meters. The attached gasoline engine accelerates the drone to speeds of more than 40 knots. In addition, it is equipped with a video communication and control system based on Starlink. Wildfires north of Los Angeles have burned 15,610 acres of dry, mountainous land. The fire that occurred over the weekend forced the evacuation of thousands of people across California. The blaze, dubbed the Post Fire, started on Saturday afternoon in the Gorman area. About 1,200 people were evacuated from the Hungry Valley State Vehicular Recreation Area. The wind continued pushing the flames south toward Pyramid Lake, which was also closed. The fire was just 2% contained Sunday evening. No injuries were reported. The cause of fire is under investigation. The National Weather Service issued a red flag warning for northwest Los Angeles County, warning of high temperatures, low humidity, and strong winds through Monday and possibly strong northerly winds on Tuesday. These conditions will be favorable for the rapid growth and spread of wildfires, including the ongoing post-fire complex, the Weather Service said. Multiple structures were damaged and destroyed, officials said without providing exact figures. At least one firefighter has been injured in the blaze, which has been dubbed the Point Fire, according to CAL FIRE. 